I'm artist Maureen Gassick and I've been participating in the Alzheimer's Unforgettable Art live paint uh, for this would have been my 14th year. Um, as you can see I'm speaking to you on video um, with the COVID crisis uh, we are doing things virtual. Um, I have passion about Alzheimer's and what's happening in this in this in this world uh, with this uh, horrible disease. Um, my mother has seven had seven seven siblings. Uh, one died young, and out of the remaining, my mother has passed now. Uh, three have passed away from Alzheimer's, and not only has it affected me personally and my family. Um, when I was growing up, I remember my neighbor's father taught me how to fish in the front yard. And I just loved him and he, they would come from Texas. And I was just a little kid, I was just a little, little, little tyke. And he would sit in the front yard and just teach me how to cast a rod, cast a rod, because I like to be outdoors. Um, and then as I grew up and I went off to college, I was in Europe and I got a letter from them and, I, and Betty had told me that her father had passed from Alzheimer's. I didn't know what Alzheimer's was, so of course I looked it up. Um, and it was so sad to know that, that the, how terrible is this disease is. I, I get a little choked up about it because you lose the person and the person loses you also. Um, so I also worked in, see, I'm going to kind of backtrack too, I worked in senior living and I had to experience a, a lot of uh, situations with uh, um, an Alzheimer's uh, uh, assisted living um, community. And I was the marketing person so I did photo shoots with with people and I saw how they their children would come and, and interact with them and then, then they would just be kind of lost and gone. And, it was just very, very sad and heart-wrenching. So this kind of gives you a background of why I do it. And I think Alzheimer's has touched so many artists and so many people in this world. And artists generally have a giving nature. And I think when they can give their time and their talent and contribute and give back, that's so important. So what I'm saying to the patrons out there and people that are watching this is really think about when you're looking at a piece know that that artist is putting everything they have in their heart and their talent into it and if it goes for a hundred dollars that's great but if they're working on it for eight or ten or twelve hours and at the live paint it's eight hours that's less than minimum wage per hour so think about that you're gonna be able to take something home or get something and, and hang on your wall or, or re-gift to someone that someone took a lot of time and effort into doing for a cause that they believe in. So I think that's that's really key. So when you're when you're looking at these these artworks online, um, everybody has a different view of how they see beauty. Um, see beauty in all of it. Um, and oh, <laughs> bid hard and bid often. How's that? <laughs> uh, another thing I'd like to do a shout out is to all of the artists that have participated. I can't wait every year to see those artists that I've made friends with and bonded with. And I may not see them for a whole year, but when I get back to that live paint and see them, I am just like pretty much the happiest person on, on, on the planet because I'm working with just wonderfully creative, talented people that have been giving from their heart all their lives because I'm sure they don't just donate to one organization, they donate their time and talent to many. Again, bid often, bid high, um, and enjoy the experience. I know it's a four-day event, um, and thank you. Maureen Gassick, artist, MaureenArtist.com. You can find my work online.